We've got one more problem that we can practice doing the electrolysis of an aqueous salt solution. We know that this is an aqueous salt solution because we have aqueous FeCl2. And so we're going to go through the different steps here. The first thing that we want to do is think about what are all the components of this solution? What are all of the things that could possibly be reactants in the oxidation and reduction? And we know that we have Fe2 plus ions. We know that we have Cl minus ions from the FeCl2. We also know that we have water, we have H plus, and we have OH minus. So those are all of our possible reactants. And now what we want to do is go through the table of half reactions and come up with a list of all the possible oxidations and also all of the possible reductions. And once we get that list of all possible reactions, we're going to go through the process of figuring out which one is the most reasonable. So we're going to go back to our table of half reactions and we're looking for, first of all, we're just, you know, we're eliminating anything that doesn't make sense based on what we have. We don't have silver or aluminum or gold or barium. We do have chlorine. We want to write this reaction in a direction that makes sense for our system. We have chloride present, which means that we can run this reaction in reverse. That would be an option. And in reverse, it would be an oxidation reaction. So we're going to copy that down as a possible oxidation. 2Cl minus, I'm not going to write the state down just to save space, make Cl2 plus two electrons and the voltage for that is 1.35827. And then we're just going to continue down through the table in the same way. We're looking for things that we have. We don't have cobalt or chromium or copper. I hesitated for a second. Uh, here we're getting into the iron. So do we have anything of this? I We do have iron two plus ions present, which means we can run this reaction as it's written from left to right, which is a reduction. So that's a possible reaction. Let's copy that down. Fe two plus plus two electrons makes Fe and that voltage is negative 0.447. And let's keep going see what else we got. Um, still on the iron, we have Fe2 plus again over here, and that's so that's another possible reaction. If we run it in the opposite direction as an oxidation from right to left, we could we could do that. So there's a possible oxidation. Fe2 plus makes Fe3 plus plus electron. And that voltage is 0.771. So let's keep going. Um, this iron reaction we cannot do because we don't have Fe and we don't have Fe3+. Plus, so that's not an option. Next, uh, we have H+. Plus, so this reaction is possible going from left to right. That's a possible reduction reaction. However, before we write it down... Remember in the last problem, we said um, if you have any reaction that has just H plus or OH minus as a reactant, because those are present in very small quantities, those reactions aren't very likely, so we're going to eliminate them. Uh, so since we already have a possible reduction reaction with the iron, we're not desperate for a reduction reaction. So let's just not even write this reaction down because we're just going to end up crossing it off anyways. And let's keep on moving. The next reaction, we have H2O. So that means we could run this reaction from left to right as a reduction. That would be a reduction. So let's write that one out. That is 2H2O plus 2 electrons makes H2 and 2OH minus, and that voltage is negative 0.8277. And let's see what else we have. 
Um, the next reaction we have, not that way, we have H2O. If we ran this reaction from right to left as an oxidation, that would be another possibility. So that would be 2H2O making H2O2 plus 2H plus plus two electrons, and that voltage is 1.776. And what else do we have? No iodine or uh, magnesium or manganese, none of these guys, no nitrogen, sodium, nickel, oxygen. Here's another potential reaction because we have water. This reaction could go from right to left. So let's add that to our list. If we're going from right to left, it's going to be an oxidation. We have a lot of possible oxidation reactions here. H2O making O2 gas plus 4H plus plus 4 electrons. I'm looking at the reaction up above it, and what, what did I do there? 1.229 volts. What is, what on earth is going on here? I just write that in the, I'm thinking out loud. I think I just wrote that in the wrong spot. Yeah, I just wrote that on the wrong side. It belongs over here. 2H2O. Well, I got it myself all mixed up, didn't I? 2H2O plus two electrons makes H2 plus 2OH minus negative 0.8277 so moved that guy and then also I see that I also wrote this one on the wrong side you guys are probably screaming at your monitors no stop you're doing it wrong h2o2 plus 2h plus plus 2 electrons 1.776 there I think I've got it fixed Okay, uh, moving on, where are we at? We are here. Um, the next possible reaction, we've got this 4OH minus as a possible reactant, but again, remember we said that the H plus and the OH minus are present in really small quantities, so even if we wrote that reaction down, we would immediately eliminate it. So let's just not even write it down. And this next reaction, we don't have O2 and we don't have H2O2, so it's not possible. And the rest of them, we don't have the right chemicals. So I think that, assuming that I've got everything straightened out over here, I think that we have everything in the right spot and we're ready to move on to the next step. Um, the next step would be to analyze these, analyze the reactants, and make sure that we have a decent quantity of all of these reactants. And we do. We have a lot of water, we have a lot of iron ion, and we have a lot of chloride ion, so all of these are reasonable. And then the next thing that we want to do is choose the reaction with a voltage that's closest to zero. So for the reduction reaction, here's the one with the voltage that's closest to zero. And for the oxidation reaction, here's the one with the voltage that's closest to zero. Oh, this is going to be so interesting to put together. And now we're going to put them together. Before we put them together, remember we're trying to combine them in a way that the electrons will cancel out. So that means the oxidation reaction, I need to multiply all of its coefficients by two so that I'm going to get the same number of electrons in both in each half reaction. And now I am combining them like this. And my overall reaction, I'm gonna have three Fe3 plus ions, and those are aqueous. I'm magically bringing the states back. Makes two Fe3 plus aqueous. I see I made a typo there. Well, I'm really, I'm really on fire right now. And Fe solid. So there's our theoretical, when we're following the rules, this may not be actually how it goes down, but when we're following the rules and making prediction, using all the tools available to us for making a good accurate prediction, this is what we would predict to happen. I cannot emphasize enough that this may not be what actually happens, but 
it doesn't matter. We just have to follow the follow the rules. So E cell, we're going to calculate the voltage cathode minus anode, which is reduction minus oxidation, which is negative 0.447 minus 0.771. And that will give us the voltage that we need to run this reaction. One, negative 1.218 volts.